Welcome back to another video everybody. Um, we're out here on the Angler Call of the Wild and we're going to be doing some salmon fishing. Which I made a video on salmon so long ago and that was the only time I've ever went fishing for salmon was in that video and that's been like maybe four months ago now which is kind of crazy. I've been recording, making videos for four months and I'm already at almost 250 subscribers. So that is, that is actually crazy so and that's all because of y'all so thank y'all so much for that. That really does mean a lot it is insane that i can say i'm at 250 subscribers almost um especially in just four months like that is just insane so thank you guys for that but i figured we'd come back out here uh, i got like eight pound line on i'm using the barbie rod because i don't have anything in my inventory and i just came running from way up on top of this mountain that's to my left so took me a little while to get down here i didn't have like a my my car here to just fast travel back to but I think we can make it work with this. They get a my biggest has been about six pounds, I believe. So should have a pretty good fight if we get a pretty good one to to bite here today. But I just kind of wanted to come back here. I really like salmon fishing, but I just for some reason have just never gone back to fish for them. So I figured today would be a pretty good day to come back out here and see if we can't catch us a diamond. And uh, I really hope that we can. I'm not going to be using any baits. I don't know if you can or not, but I'm just going to be fishing like how I would have a long time ago. Not using any baits, just casting it out there and seeing what we can get. And also, i got to start my challenges, so let's get some challenges started, and I will be back whenever we catch another salmon. Also, I've messed with my settings some. If, it, if my game looks different, I'm trying to figure out a way to make these crashes stop, and that looks like a pretty solid salmon there. But, um, so the game might look a little bit weird right now. I'm thinking about getting 64 gigabytes of RAM. I've heard some people say it can be a RAM issue uh, while these crashes are happening and everything. I truly don't know. But Flinter, he said he has not crashed once and he's at 64 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm at 32. So I might just go and get 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. i got to figure out my bills and everything and if that's something that I sh like can afford getting. I don't even really know how much 64 gigabytes of RAM is. But I am thinking about it, so... I might try to do that, and uh, maybe that'll help out a little bit with these crashes and everything. And um, But if not, even just having the extra RAM, I mean, I, I don't think I'll ever need 64 gigabytes, but, I mean, it's never a bad thing to have more RAM, I guess. I mean, at a, some point, you're going to have so much that you don't really need anymore, but, I mean, RAM is pretty useful. You use it literally any time you get on your computer. Any time you, like, get on anything at all, you're going to be using RAM. So, something you do use quite a bit. So I'm thinking about it. I might just do that. But uh, today, actually, I didn't crash at all loading in. Uh, the last two times I've actually got on this game, I haven't crashed at all. So maybe something happened, something changed. Maybe it's something with what I did with my graphics, because I did kind of mess with them a little bit. Uh, so if the game does look a little better that or a little worse, that's why. But at least I'm able to uh, record videos for you guys, which is probably my favorite thing to do. And so I'm very glad I'm still able to do that. Got another salmon, I believe our third, maybe our fourth one. These are just such cool looking fish. I'm very excited for the chum salmon to come out uh, over on Japan. Speaking of Japan, we are seven days away. I can't even be believe to be begin to believe this. Like seven days away from the new map, it seems like we're just like right there. And if they are giving early access, I do believe that will start on Friday uh, to where they can post. Now I can't do early access. Um, I do not have, uh, I'm not partnered with Expansive Worlds, and this seems like it could be a decent salmon here. Definitely does not look bad, but, uh, that might start Friday, so we might be getting to see some videos on the new map as early as Friday. So that would be awesome. I'm very excited to see some, uh, some videos and everything of this new map, and I just cannot wait to get on and play. I am so excited for this new map to come out. And I really hope it's, I mean, from what we've seen so far, I do believe it will be a good one, but I just cannot wait to play it. And if those, oh, we got another bite here. This one also seems like it could be pretty decent. Still probably just gonna be a silver, but uh, not bad. Definitely not bad at all. And I believe this was my second ever diamond that I've ever caught on this game. My first was a, uh, was oh, uh, a trout, the uh, cutthroat trout, and I believe that this was my second. I saw the salmon, I really wanted to go fish for him, and uh, looked up a diamond spot for him, and I just, this is where I ended up being, and I, I caught my first diamond, or yeah, my first diamond salmon here. 
And I believe it was my first diamond on a video was actually here, which is kind of cool. Getting into the history, the four-month history of my channel here. Yeah, what do we got here? This looks to be a rainbow trout, I believe. It is just a small bronze rainbow trout. I don't know if diamond rainbow trout can spawn here. But it doesn't really matter. I have caught one before. They are kind of difficult from what I understand. I've never really just went straight for rainbow trout. I've kind of just fished for other things at spots they could be and I caught one. But uh, they are, they, are, they kind of seem difficult. I've went for them like once or twice and I just cannot, I cannot get them. But if they can spawn here, I wouldn't mind taking another. It'd be a very good fight on this little rod though. Oh, and as for what I'm using and where I'm at, I haven't even said that yet. I got a size six spinner on here. And where we are at, we have the, the main outpost right here, the Diamond Speak outpost. And pretty much almost directly south and slightly east, you'll get this big mountain range here. You get this little river that runs through here. Have this little bridge, which we can see right in front of us. And just slightly south of that is where I like to fish. This was the, I believe the exact same spot I caught my diamond was off this exact rock uh, last time I went fishing here. Or whenever I caught that diamond. So, which I think was the last time I was fishing here. I'm kind of forgetting that I kind of have to cast around a little bit whenever I'm not using this bait. And I think I can bait them, but I just want to go back kind of how I was on that video a long time ago and just fishing for them and seeing if I can get one. Okay, this is a lot of tension here. If this is a salmon, this will be another pretty good one. And it is a salmon, and it looks like it could be a pretty good one there. Probably around the same size as the last one. Pretty close, literally a .01 pound difference. The last one was 2.39, I believe, and that one was 2.4, so actually very, very similar. Man, I'm having a lot, I feel like I'm having a lot more fun uh, recording and making videos right now that I'm not having to stress. Oh, that's some very good tension there. That's the best tension we've seen on a uh, salmon today, so that is good. Probably going to be around the three pound range, I think. Don't know for sure, but I think that it's going to be 2.85. So yeah, right around that three pound range. So that's very nice. But I've been having a lot of fun making videos. Um, just not having to go for like a diamond of a certain fish for the bingo or for the all diamonds. Now that was fun back whenever I like barely had any. But now that it's just these two fish, I've spent so much time on just the two fish that I need. And so it's just... This fishing for the same two fish over and over and over just took a little bit of, of the fun out of the game. But now that I'm just kind of fishing for whatever, I'm not really worrying about getting all diamonds. I'm very, very close. I'm just two away, but they have been so difficult for me that I'm just taking me a little break. Got one thing going for it. I couldn't really tell what that was, though. It is another salmon, so that's good. And some pretty good tension, too. So we're probably looking around the three-pound range for this guy. I'd say probably like 2.63. It's just a guess. That was a very close guess. 2.6 right on the dot. Oh, so we're like just now getting into the right water temperature. It's actually 41 to 46. So we got quite a while here to, to get a diamond salmon. I thought it was around 40 and 39, but it's actually a little bit warmer than that. There's another pretty good looking kokanee salmon there. Oh, that's a lot of tension. That is the most tension we've seen today on a kokanee salmon by a lot. This could be our first gold. Definitely looks bigger going for it in the net. Let's hope that this is our first gold. And it is. 3.51 pounds. We have been so close to that 3 point. No, we have not even been close. I don't even think we've gone over 3 pounds. I'm getting my, my 2s and 3s mixed up. But that is definitely a nice one. Definitely not bad at all. Such a cool looking fish too. Like, I really like these guys. 42.1 degree water. So we got very good water temperature here. 3.51 pounds. That is a pretty nice kokanee salmon there. That water temperature over there is heating up quick. I did not mean to cast right there. But hey, maybe there's something swimming around right there that I need to catch. These fish love to bite as soon as I'm taking a drink of something. Okay, this is very, oh, okay. This is very good tension. This is likely another gold or bet on a kokanee salmon anyways. 
Oh, I thought that was going to be the gold. That one, you can tell, looks bigger than that last gold that we caught. Uh, so that is not bad at all. That is a very nice looking salmon right there. So I guess it was a good thing I cast it over there. Okay, y'all are crazy. Like in a good way. So I'm just, I just got on my YouTube studio to just check what's going on. I haven't been checking like views and stuff recently. Um, it's been about two days. And my newest video that came out two days ago is at 110 views already in two freaking days and nine likes. So that's crazy. And then the one before that from four days ago is at 419 views, which is also crazy. And then the one nine days ago is at 265 views. So that's three videos in a row that are all over 100 views. So that is like actually wild to me. So thank you guys so much for that. Sometimes I just randomly get on a uh, YouTube studio and I'm just like, how? Like what even just happened? How am I, uh, how am I at all these views? Like where did this come from? So, thank you guys so much again for that. Like, that is still just, like I was saying earlier, like, it's just so crazy. Like, I believe I've been consistently making videos for, I, th I think it's like four months. I don't exactly remember when I started, but four months, even if this was like five months, even like ten months if I was making these videos and I was getting all this. Like, this is like insane, and it seems like it has been like in no time at all. So... That is because of every single one of you guys. I know I kind of say this a lot, but it really, like, it's a very big deal to me. Like, it's actually just so, so crazy to me that so many people are watching these videos, and it just blows my mind. Like, it really does. Like, I swear. Like, it's just so crazy. I'm three subscribers away from 250. Like, that's a lot of people. That is so many subscribers, it's actually crazy. So, again, thank you guys so much, and I really hope this is a kokanee salmon. This would probably be a diamond. I feel like this would be the best time. Oh, man, it's a kokanee salmon. If this is a diamond, as I'm thinking, y'all, then this is going to be for y'all, I guess. This one looks like the biggest one we've caught today. Will this be our diamond? Just a gold, but not bad. Our third gold. Three gold so far. That is definitely not bad. Let me wait for all these things. All right. 4.02 pounds. I believe that is our biggest one of the day so far. 43 degree water, so our water temperature is still super good right now. All right, well, unfortunately, no diamonds today, but we did catch, I believe, three golds. And they're all pretty decent golds. Um, I was not able to catch a diamond, but I have caught a diamond on here before. And if y'all want to go back, you can go back and watch that video. It's a very long time ago, but... um. I still had a lot of fun out here today. It was very fun just going to fish for these salmon. A fish that I have not fished for in months. So it was very nice to come back here and fish for them again. Honestly, I had a great time. This was this was a lot of fun. So we're going to do this again. Probably not for salmon, but we're going to go after some just random fish uh, tomorrow or two days from now. And hopefully we can do very good with whatever we go for. Um, maybe catch a diamond. But thank you guys so much for watching. And again, for like the 50th time, thank you all so much for all the support on these videos. Like it's actually just still blowing my mind how many people are watching these videos. And I'm just so thankful for that. And I'm thankful for each and one of each and every one of you that are watching these videos. And it's just, it's, it's so crazy. So thank you guys so much for all the, all the, the views and everything. Um, I, I like just to make these videos. It's just super fun to make and to see people that are actually watching along and that like the videos too, like watching them and I like making them. It's just, it's so cool. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, hope y'all are excited for this new map to come out. I'm so excited for it to come out. Cannot wait to start making some videos on that with y'all or for y'all. So thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all in a couple of days. Hopefully we'll have some good luck as to whatever it is we're going for. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed y'all's weekend. And I hope y'all have a great week this week. And I will see y'all in a couple of days.